watch it. Watch my video. Watch it. Okay. Let me stop acting. Okay, so just stay tuned. I am excited. I'm feeling good. I feel blessed and highly favored. So let's get started. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Um, I just did my eyebrows. I want to show you guys what I've been using for my pencil. And it is the LA Girl Colors in um, Black Brown. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, if you want a bold look, it can give you a bold look. If you want like that light fluffy look that everyone's going for nowadays, it can also you give you that. You can do it with this brush. It's really creamy. And um, it kind of gels your hair and the product into each other and I love that. My concealer, it is the Pro Longwear Concealer. I always use this around my eyebrows to clean them and also my under eyes. I love a very bright look. Um, this is the NC45 and this is like really one of my all time favorites. I would never give up on that ever. For my primer, I'm gonna use the Lancome LA Base Pro um, primer. I really, really love this. It's really good. Also for my foundation, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match in the color C8. been wanting to try a new brush and I didn't want to break the budget that I had I didn't want to break my pockets neither so um, I found this at Walmart I cannot pronounce the name of it it's like Japanese I don't I'm not even gonna try honey I'm not gonna try mm -mm. I'm trying this so I'm gonna try it right now and I'm gonna tell you guys you know what I think of it. A little mini review in the makeup tutorial. Hey now. <laughs> okay, ladies, this brush is dense, dense, dense. Our brothers, <laughs> whoever watching this video, it is so dense. And the more dense the brush is, the more coverage you will have. Hey, um, I do like the brush, the density, and the full coverage that this brush gives to the foundation that I'm using. I really like that. But at the same time, it is a bit um, of a strain on my hand. I also have copper tunnel, so it is... Um, a lot of work kind of um, with I guess the size of it and I'm not saying I have the smallest or the biggest hands but um, it's kind of you know clunky with the um, handle but the density of the brush is wonderful um, yeah is it gonna replace my real techniques as far as the density I love it but as far as the way it's holding um, I'm really not sure because when you look at the foundation brush that Real Techniques have is much smaller and it's much easier for me to like manipulate in my hand more than, you know, this brush that's kind of, you know, it's really sturdy and it's kind of complicated to get in the smaller areas on my face. But besides that, this density of the brush is amazing. So right now I'm going to be using this as a base and the name of this brand is called Royal and the color that I'm going to be using, um, maybe that's the name of it. Hmm. It doesn't have a name, it just says Royal and it's an eye crayon. So I'm going to use this just for um, my, crease, my crease and a little bit higher. So 
So the palette I'm going to be using is by BH Cosmetics, and this is the Foil Eye 28 color palette. So I am going to be using this to go on my crease. I'm sorry, my cousin is here and she keeps talking to me. So if you see my lips moving, yeah, yeah, there she is. So if you see my lips moving, it's because I have company and I apologize about that in advance. Okay, yeah. All right, so next palette I'm gonna be using is gonna be um, the Mini Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. And the color I'm gonna be using is Koji. Right here. This red. Oh, just to let you guys know, y'all gonna be seeing more of this palette because, uh, yeah, it's Bob. Bob. So I'm just placing the color on right now. It's gonna get better. Don't look at this and be like, ah, just keep watching. Guys, and then I'm gonna go back in and blend. So I have my makeup wipe and I'm going to clean and make my cut crease. I think this is best for people with hooded lids so you can get a better like um, idea of where your um, cut is going to be than if you're doing it with like some, some concealer. Um, you have more control with your finger. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my lids and I'm going to cover it up with this nude in this um, L'Oreal palette, the nude one, this color here, I love this palette as you can tell, it's beat up. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the face with the highlight and contour. The reason why I stopped doing my face because I got a little nervous by doing this look. I didn't want to spread any of the eyeshadow colors on my face. So I'm like, let me wait, do the under eye, and um, do the highlight now. So that's what I'm about to do, and I'll be done in just a second. Okay, everyone, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. 
my open cut crease. 